Wait a minute, this is the wrong video. Ah, this is it, okay. Hot summer morning into middle of the day. It was a hot summer morning into middle of the day. Ah, you know, that's so much better. Taking our beautiful, amazing looking, nice 4K footage that we saw in the intro or anywhere and just making it look like absolute dog shit. Something about that, guys. Something about that. Today, we're gonna to talk about just that. How I take my digital footage, convert it into looking and feeling a bit more like it's shot on film, or at least wait for watching it back on a mechanical spool of film. So, let's talk about how we're going to change our digital footage into film right now in Premiere Pro. Okay, so first things first, we need to make a new sequence. How do you do that? Obviously, it's easy, but let's just say you don't know how. Right click. New item, sequence, there you go. Go to settings, now set it to whatever your dimensions of your footage is. Make sure you know your frame size, set it to that. The trick here, what we want to change is our time base from 23 point whatever, or whatever yours is shot at, to 15. Press OK. And now that you have your sequence, go ahead and drag in your music, drag in your clips, edit the clips to the music in the pacing and you know the general cut that you want. Now let's apply our effects, right? First things first, Let's go ahead and drag in my 8mm preset to get the files that we want. That's going to be our film green, our film overlay, and then the film roll sound. Okay, so I have the sound right here. Let's go ahead and drag it in. And we have this overlay, of course, which helps already look a lot more film-like. You'll find oftentimes that these overlays um, are not long enough for as long as you want it to be, so just duplicate them, and then we're going to nest them together right now. Select both of these, right-click, and nest it. Now let's open up our film grunge, grab just the texture itself, not the audio layer, because you don't need the audio layer, and change the blend mode in your effects controls to, I don't know, screen or color dodge. Both of them seem to work okay. I think color dodge is better for my footage in this case. That's the easy part. The hard part is coming right now. Okay, then go ahead, right click, new item, adjustment layer. We want to bring that in, make sure it's your sequence size. If it is, bring it in, stretch it to the length of your footage. In this case, oh, mine's only seven seconds here. Go under effects, type in turbulent displace. So turb, turbulent displace, drag that on there. We'll minimize that for now. Find a strobe effect, so strobe light, drag that on there as well. We'll grab directional blur, bring that on there, minimize that as well, and we'll bring in a wave warp. There we go, click and drag that onto there. Now, that's a lot of stuff, but I promise you it's gonna be a lot easier than you think. So, under Turbulent Displace, let's open this up. Under Displacement, click Turbulent, make sure that's selected. The amount, let's set that to four. Keep the size at 100, the offset will keep in place as well. The complexity, we'll keep at one. Evolution, we'll put to eight. Evolution Options, we'll go ahead and cycle Evolution, put that to two. Let's pin All, make sure that's selected. And then under Anti-Aliasing, Select high, you wanna have the highest quality sine wave function thing happening here, and that's that. So let's go ahead and minimize that. We'll go to strobe light. Under strobe color, let's make that black. Blend with original, I wanna put it to 80. Strobe duration, I wanna set this to 0.05. Strobe period, I wanna set this to 0.2. And at the moment, this still looks weird, but trust me, it will work. Under strobe itself, I wanna put this to makes layer transparent. Under strobe operator, I wanna keep this as copy. And random seed, I'm going to ignore. Now, let's minimize strobe light. Go to directional blur. Let's change the direction to 90 and the blur length to 10. There we go. And then finally, wave warp, which is why this looks funny right now. We're going to fix that. So keep it as sine wave. I'm going to set my wave height to 4, wave width to 2000. The direction, I'm going to put to 180. So that way the waves go this way and this way, not up and down. And then wave speed, I'm going to set that to about. 0.5. Under pinning, I'm going to do all edges. Under phase, I'm going to set this to 90. And under anti-aliasing, let's put that onto medium. With all these effects applied, you'll notice that it looks pretty similar to how it already looked. And that can be changed depending on what you want. A lot of it comes down to if you have the green on there, you can change from color dodge to screen like I mentioned. Or you can put it on soft light, which will make everything darker and grungier. It really depends on what you want out of it. You can also go ahead, ignore all of this, go back to color dodge. We'll search for grain, then we'll just add a noise and grain filter onto our judgment layer, and underneath that, we'll go ahead and crank that up to like 50, for instance, which will add a good amount of noise. Turn off color noise in my preference. I don't like color noise too much. And then you'll see that there's more grain added before that. You can also do 100% grain, should you want to be insane. Now, truthfully, many of you probably think there's more I could do to this, and there's more that can be done, and you might be right, but 
for the sake of my computer, playing the footage back, running it, being able to edit with it, and getting a pretty close look to what I like out of it, this is something that I find to be really good as a middle ground. You can go ahead and add, you know, light leaks and burns and stuff like that to really enhance this feeling. You can go ahead and add more grain, like I said, or a different type of grain should you not want the eight millimeter one. You can add a variety of different effects that I haven't added here if you want to customize this look. But for the masses, for all of you watching, this should be enough to get you close to that look. But okay, uh, other than that, see you soon. I still have literally no furniture. It's a problem. If you're a company out there and wants to send me something, I need a couch. Okay, uh, I will see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace out.